All right, I'm on hole number nine of the American Classic Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Haven't had a super spectacular first round. Didn't catch one, didn't catch three, didn't catch six. Did get eight. But I still got an Albie shot right here. And so the way that these holes are set up down there on the end, it's all about side spin. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring a Kingmaker just because I have them in this account. Let's bring, let's bring my accurate stuff here. Let's bring a sniper and a Saturn. I don't think I'm going to get in my Saturn range. I think it's all about the sniper. And it's all about, I mean, the first shot is a pure, I mean, if you get out there in the rough, going forward you can you can recover and I've ended up in the rough up there I still I put a half a backspin as my minimum and I upped it to one and I'm pulling back a little so I'm on um, two rings off I'm gonna put on a whole backspin couple rings off of that and that's about a ring it's 2.1 per ring so I'm gonna and I'm actually gonna take out just a titch less I had more room on the left hit it perfect <clears throat> Actually, think I'm overshooting that. I think I might actually put a little more backspin and see if I can end up a little more over in this area as opposed to where I'm at. I'm going to be a little shorter, but it opens up the green so that I have a little bit better look at the flag. So I think I might actually put a little more backspin and set it up to do that where it goes in that area. There's a fine line there. If you put too much backspin on it, you won't actually be able to get over to the other side. You'd have to put some overpower on it to get over to the other side, and then the backspin comes in. But there is a, you can short it down there a little. And on those times where you just clip that rough and you just make it over, you actually don't have too bad of a shot. Okay, so where's my red line? There's my red line. If I was sitting back there, my red line would be right here, so it's not, that's not that bad. problem here is giving yourself I'm going to put on more backspin and just have to bring it around to the hole 3.8 that's about a 4 ring pull it's right back to the red line hit it great on the inside that'll probably clip the rough down there right there yep it's trying to get greedy I I I cannot stand that shot that we have at Albie there. For whatever reason, I that shot just blows. So it's all in our in our landing zone. Either we need to be further back or we need to be further forward. And I know an expert with the expert wins that they have that they can get over with a max overpower hook shot. And I'm gonna have to start working that shot on this hole because this hole just I got greedy. It was a poor, poorly set up shot. Now it's all about whether or not I can recover out of the sand. <laughs> okay, definitely want to put on my backspin. Definitely want to go right at the hole. That backspin will make that ball stop really quick. And you can laugh all you want, but it's absolutely true. That 
that was not perfect that's not in the hole I ended up getting a birdie on this hole just dinking around and hit into the perfect spot the spot that I was trying and that's a that's an absolute case in point of when we're in these tournaments and I talk about you know like you see people all the time they work really hard to get into a certain spot and then they get to that spot and that spot sucks that's exactly what it feels like on that shot is that I'm working really hard to get into that spot and that spot sucks and it's on how that hole set up it, it, it lends itself to you having to put on curl in order to bring it back to the hole but the way that the greens cut there where the fringe and the rough and that sand are, are laid in there it gets longer the further you go to the right and you're trying to bring it to the right so the further you bring it to the right the more apt you are to clip it like that especially if you hit it on the inside so I'm gonna change how I'm coming at this hole I'm gonna I'm gonna lay up further back so that I have a straighter in shot and see if that gives me a better look because it seemed like the last time I duffed that shot which was in my practice account because I was trying to get as far to the bottom as possible all right, that was a disappointing hole number nine. <laughs> this is going to be one of those weeks where I can tell where I go into the weekend round, and this happens on some tournaments. So you go into the weekend round, and you know if the score right now is 30, I'd have a 30, and I get into the weekend round, and I got all the tiebreakers, and I'm doing good, and I fall just one hole short. But sometimes it's nice to go into the weekend round and know that, hey, my tiebreaker blows. And the only way that I'm going to win this tournament is if I shoot a 31 <laughs> and go out there and just drop a 31. And that looks like it might be exactly what I have to do. <laughs> All right, that was hole number nine of the American Classic Tournaments in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.